Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at the Grant County Justice Center in Washington State with the frauditor known as Danny Chicken. Yeah, quite an unusual name for a frauditor. Couldn't you have taken a little bit more time to make up a better name like Joey Surreal Camera or Annapolis Audit or something like that? I mean, come on now, dude. It, it's, that's, that takes a little bit of time. But at any rate, he tries to get into the courthouse and he finds that he, well, is banned from the courthouse for some reason. I wonder what it could be. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Bullshit charges on trespassing on public property after somebody's had an invitation. I know you two are too ignorant to be able to catch on and too low level. You just do what these other guys tell you. Well, dude, that's called having a job. And I know that might be a foreign concept to you, but when you have a job, you do what other people tell you to do at that job, whether it's stocking shelves or uh, building cabinets, you do that job, or, well, you can go find some other place to work. And if these guys have been told to keep you out because you've been trespassed, well, then that's what they have to do, and since this is a courthouse, it is not public property, it is considered to be a non-public forum. So, dude, shut your damn mouth and get over yourself. Joey Creep. Well, I didn't know he had a problem with me. I've been down here regular and talked to him. And to be denied entrance in here right now... And they put you to chump people and f like there's some authority, but they're breaking the law and you, you guys just play right along with it. Really, dude, they're breaking the law. They're the ones that are at fault. Maybe you should take a look in a mirror because you're the one who got trespassed from here. Uh, but then again, I'm talking to a frauditor here. Uh, frauditors lack, uh, well self-reflection skills the ability to look into oneself and see where the fault lies and improve upon that no they they don't have that ability frauditors want to blame everybody else for their own problems except for themselves the ones who caused the problem to begin with i don't know what you know i don't expect with these jobs that you know a lot and you're damn half unnecessary. Ain't nobody bringing a gun in here. Huh, uh, do your logical fallacies always look like this uh, based upon what you think is uh, going on just because you think that uh, nobody's going to bring a gun in there? That means they should not have security? Uh, dude, uh, that's not how the world works. The world doesn't work on your whim. This is a courthouse where stressful events can occur and people who are under stress may bring in objects like firearms and, uh, well, try to off people. So basically the world does not uh, pander to the ramblings of a complete moron such as yourself. Did you hear about the cocaine they found at the White House? No. See, I'm telling you, you guys don't know much, and you're unable to talk much. You just force in the, uh... Did they tell me I couldn't go back there? What? Am I allowed back here? I've seen you before. I... You know, you're not supposed to be in the building. What'd you say? Huh? Oh, hell, I said, what did you say? You said something. You're telling me I can't go back there. You said you can only divulge info that he actually has, sir. As in, you know, we only know what we know, sir. Well, call somebody above you guys for me to complain to, because I ain't going for that shit. That's fine. That's stupid. Y'all discriminate against me. Why? Because I'm white? Because I don't work here? They're discriminating against you because you're white? Uh, yeah, sure, dude. 
That is quite the little persecution complex you got going right there. Another trait of the frauding community, persecution complexes, and rather interestingly stupid ones. But I would wager that uh, the reason why you're not, well, one of the reasons why you're not allowed in here is because of, well, this clip right here from an, another video that you posted. So let's take a look at that beautiful bean footage and see, uh, well, the possibilities as to why you're not allowed in this building. Flashback. I just left your core house for your Let me see that. your antiquated circus. I want to use this here. Lake where your judge Thanks. Yeah, he's a uh, senile and incompetent. So we're going to go ahead and file a motion of prejudice against Judge Federer in this case. So we'll obtain that 50 cent paperwork. I got 50 cent. We're, we need to file a petition of prejudice. Great. That's beneficial. I'll make copies of that then. So. It's going to cost money. Here's what else, too, is we, we need to file some sort of hardship paperwork because I'm running out of money. I can't drive back and forth to Moses Lake and back here to Afreda and keep doing that. Your court, your court clerk's office is here, though. And, and they keep trying to send me to a court over there when my courthouse is here, I pay my taxes here, I do all my business here, I file my motions here, I need to go to court here because that is an inconvenience and it's a hardship. I'm not going to make it to that court anymore. Well, sorry for the inconvenience, asshole, but apparently you're the one who's uh, committing all the crimes around here, so therefore... Uh, if you're going to inconvenience us with having to do the paperwork on that, we'll inconvenience you. That's what I would say. So all you can do is hear me bitch about it and then do f all else because you don't got jack f all power to do anything. No Not even reset a court date when somebody's got f ink eye and can barely f see. Yeah, you couldn't even quash a goddamn warrant. Yeah, go get some donuts. <laughs> I couldn't cross a war. Couldn't call up here and say I got a medical condition. No, I just can't see why they wouldn't let you or your friends back in this courthouse. I can't understand it one bit. Oh man. End of flashback. We were told by our superiors that you were not allowed in the building. Told by your superiors. That you are I don't have any superiors, man. Only chumps and retards have a superior. I ain't got none. So only chumps and the artards have superiors? Uh, uh, so you're basically offending every single working man and woman in the world. Because those of us that do work, we do have people that work above us, which the technical term for that is is superior and at times we have people working below us which means we are their superiors that is how jobs work and you thumbing your nose at this just shows your utter contempt for reality uh your utter contempt for the working man the working woman anybody who holds their country together their communities together by lending their hands to a job that needs to be done. You are a real dirtbag, dude. I'm on, man. I listen to shit. Okay. Especially you. Fine. You gave me the creeps so and I walked in. Where's Joey at? Stupid. I've been telling, telling Joey he's a hot long time. I've been nicer to him, but I'm going to quit. Grant County Sheriff's Office. Hello, sir. Hi. Hi. Oh, man, I need a key. What's that? I need a key. You need a key? Yeah. All right. We'll do number four for you. Oh, I got to visit the website. You guys are scared. I'm going to call 911 on you because uh, I think y'all about to jump on me. Okay. There's one of them. Hey, Mark. Here. 
No thanks, man. Oh, okay, I guess there's some other Are you still raising plums? I am. Yeah, that's I great. Am. Hey, man. Hey, wait, dude. You know that's Diane Kennedy's son, Patrick. You remember? You well, know I got a question. These are uh, these guys the here. Are busy here. You think he did? Man, let me ask my question. Oh, there's a lot. I'm these guys said I can't go past here. I can't come in. Okay. No, that's what they said. I don't believe them. I don't. I think he's full of shit, and I don't know what the reason could be. We were told okay. not to let you. I've been in okay. here 50 we times. To let you Shut in. up, man. I'm talking to somebody else. Okay, let's go take. Thanks, buddy. Retard. Hey. I'm sorry. You know you I've been to court this morning. I got so, a bad attitude. Did they tell you why? No, he just said the uh, his superiors won't let me in. Oh, okay. you know, the complaint is, the complaint is that we've been up to the prosecutor's office to talk to the prosecutor, and they're not answering the door. And this okay. happens every time. It happens every single well, time, Pat. You know. So, so usually usually to, when I go over there, I have to call before I go over. You know what, though? I'm, I'm the public. You're a right. cop. Well, they should still open the door for me. They least, should you know. at least talk to the public a when a person has a case, you see. When you have a court case and you're supposed to work with a with the prosecuting attorney, mm -hmm. the public defender does that, right? Right. Well, I don't have a public defender. Did I you, ain't did trying. You, did you go talk to them? I ain't trying to have a public defender. You okay. know what a public defender does? F ass, Patrick. I don't know. You don't know because you ain't been there. I have. Oh, I have been there. Oh, okay. So, been there. so you've been there, but you didn't I get did. By the public defender, I just paid. I just, paid, just, the paid, just paid the fine and was done. Yeah, that's it. We'll okay. just pay the fine and move along. All and right, let everybody else get ass. Good job, Patrick. Okay. Take Patrick. care, guys. Patrick, Patrick, they won't let me in. Okay, well, you guys are leaving anyway. I know, but I would I would call the sheriff the sheriff's office and find out. I already set okay. up an appointment with the sheriff, and I've already reported this shit with the sheriff before. Because they're okay. committing crimes in these courts. Well, I was he's, answering his question. That's you know, the, I don't, he's part of me. Okay. Thanks, right. Tansy. So, yeah. See you guys. Take care. So he's just my witness and reporter to protect me from nope, people. No, no. We don't know <laughs> name calling. No <laughs> name calling. Come on. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> to, to people like you. Thanks for working, man. Thank you. Take protection against people like Mr. What's up, Gonzalez? Well, gee, uh, we got another frauditor here who apparently thinks that the whole court system is the problem, that the whole of the court system itself is a crime or something like that. He doesn't even bother to take a look in a mirror and pretty much realize that maybe he might be the problem. I mean, he does have a problem with the working man, as he explained earlier. He has a, so he has a great deal of issue with that. So maybe he doesn't want to do an honest day's work and uh, earn his living and uh, earn the things he gets. Uh, so maybe he just wants to take the easy route and steal, lie, and everything like that. Cheat his way through life, in other words. So no wonder he's probably in trouble with the law a lot of the time. He's one of these assholes who thinks that the world owes him something, which is a typical frauditor. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?